Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Bard's Tale 4. So, I had to cut the previous episode because it didn't record properly and since it was a problem with the source file, I can't fix it either. In any case, you didn't really miss that much. There was a trapdoor right here, so I fell down, had to solve some puzzles and now we are back here and I can disable it. That will disable it. Okay then, so now I can save. And let's move on. I hope we are almost done with this place. I guess we'll find out. Rank and fire. Well, this looks centrally interesting. There's a key over there. Okay. I can't pick it up? There. Oh, cave key. There is a door. We can go back to it. But how about we go to the other side first? Okay. Interesting. That might be enough. I don't think I can do anything else. We might be able to move to that one. Can we? No, we can't actually. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. Let's take a look. Well, I can make them move back in this direction. I don't think that's going to be incredibly helpful. Here, that's how we do it. Alright then. Oh yeah, lockpick. We can certainly do that. And it looks like a secret room with some treasure. No, another puzzle. Well, alright, what about that other door? Oh, this is what we need to open, I guess. A gate. And there's something interesting over there. Right, well, I guess we're going this way. So, let's take a look. Looks interesting. Okay, I see what we need to do. Yeah, that should be easy. That will do. Alright then, and what's this? Another key? Yep, I'll take that, thanks. And the lockpick again. We should probably make more lockpicks. That was our last one, but I have a lot of metal scraps. It's not really a problem. Alright then, and what now? Oh, maybe we need to use the song. Let's try this one. Yep, that's it. Okay. And what do we do here? I want to open that gate. Bind or consume? Actually, you know what? Let's consume this one. To get more experience. Here, it wasn't that much, but... There are other stones we can use to save around here. So this is fine. Did you think I was a liar? You crossed the bridge. Okay, whatever you say. Thanks, mouth. So I would still like to open that gate. Maybe we'll open it on our way out. Well, possibly. Well, right, let's figure out what this is. I suppose we need to move the blocks. Rotate clockwise. Oh yeah, I see how it is. Interesting. We can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. Right. And here's another one. Yeah, I see what this is. Could be interesting. That didn't do a whole lot. Yeah, that did literally nothing. I don't even see what I'm rotating right now. So we can rotate this one. Yeah, that's not quite good enough, I'm afraid. Let's show that again. Yeah, that's not useful either. Ha 
How about now? Nope, not useful. Counterclockwise. Is that better? No, it is not. Hold on then. This might take a little bit of time. Only one side of this rock doesn't have a fire. So, what the heck do we do now? I assume we can't just run through the flames. That would be a poor idea. We need to have access to the other place, here. And rotate this somehow. Here, I think we made the next one clear. So let's try this again. Okay, looks fine. And there's one more, I assume. Yes, there is. Right here. I would prefer to not burn my own face with it. That would be great. You know, I'm just saying. Let's rotate that here. Okay, and now we need to solve this. I take it. Easy enough. Probably. Might take a little bit of time. Okay, there, I got it. That took a little bit too long. <laughs> Entirely too long. What the heck do we do now? I turned off the traps. Is there nothing interesting in here? I can't seem to open this gate, which is slightly annoying. So I actually found the right solution, because as it turns out, there are two different solutions. They both turn off the flames, but one of them opens the gate while the other one does not. So I found the solution that stops the flames and opens the gate, which means I got the stone head now. Unfortunately, because this game has a really stupid save system, I can't show you that, because it took so long that I stopped recording. And now I can't just go back to show you that part. I would have to go all the way back to the previous save and replay everything. I'm definitely not going to do that. In any case, we can actually go through here now. Stone heart here. And stone head here. There. That took long enough. I hope we are actually done with this place. Because I'm a little bit fed up <laughs> with this place. Hi, secret wall. Alright, oh, hi, now we got the chest. Alright then, and we got an upgrade. That is definitely an upgrade. Quite a significant one too. Well then, let's equip that right away. Where did it go? Somewhere here. That's not the one, is it? Oh yeah, that is actually the one. Yep, that will be a really huge upgrade, actually. There you go. Much better stats. So, let's move on. This way. Oh, come on, another puzzle? Are you serious right now? Great. My dearest apprentice, I know quite well how fond you are of your ink drawings and color theory. Let's put your skills to the test, shall we? You're almost there. Yeah, we've been almost there for like the past two hours. The sun, the noon sky, the robin's breast. Okay. We got some items here. And the note. Okay. So, yellow first, I take it, and then blow. Okay, yellow blow red can it really be as simple as that i don't know maybe uh, wait hold on oh yeah there they are so yellow blow red okay well at least that was simple and obvious let's move on i hope we are actually done at this point because I've had just about enough of this place, I'll be honest. Blocked. Don't tell me it's another puzzle. Great. That's just fantastic. So apparently we are not done. We got some recipes for the ink. 
So what the heck do we do here? Okay, so I figured it out. We just need different colored ink using the recipes we found earlier. So we need black, red and purple, if I'm not mistaken. That's exactly what I made. Now we can place black, red and purple. And that will open it. Okay, tell me we are actually done now. There are some actual enemies in here. Okay, finally we can fight something. Before we do that, let's take a look around. We got some book. And anything else? This looks suspicious. I can't use that. Actually, yes I can. Okay then, maybe we should go back and fight? Okay, more enemies. Should we go back up? Yeah, let's go back up. We might have missed something important. Any day now. Alright, so let's take a look. There were some enemies over here. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, let's just charge them, it's fine. We'll get some experience, if nothing else. Okay, we got the one-eyed dude, a regular goblin, and two ranged goblins. So, we'll start with meditate. Then... We could taunt this thing and then hit it. That is not a bad idea. Let's taunt it towards us. Then we can hit it with slinking assault. Like so. Then... Use Lost Arrow, then we can Stealth and use Razor Strop. Here. Looks reasonable. Bring it on! I really hope we're done with puzzles for a while. Because this location was a little bit annoying. <laughs> anyway... First, we should interrupt the guy in the back, if we can. Well, we can if we kill the guy in the front. Which we can do. We need six more damage. Yeah, we can do that with Sundering Smash. Although, it'll be more beneficial to use the throw. How about this guy? Okay, sure, let's use this guy. I'll just have to move. That will do. And back into our position, that will refund the opportunity point. And then we can interrupt. Uh, I can't for some reason. Why the heck not? Oh, that requires two action points. Whoops. I guess we'll just move out of the way then. So that he will hit empty space. Works for me. Same outcome, basically. This might even be a better outcome, because he wasted a point. Alright then. So, how about good old dragon bread? That's always satisfying to use. I love that ability. Okay. Now we can kill the one-eyed guy. Like so. Yeah, they will explode because of the special ability from Crocs, or whatever his name is. I can't quite finish off this dude. First, let's break his ability. And that leaves us with, well, still four opportunity points. I could queue up Ward Strike. Yeah, there's not much else I can really do. Let's use Ward Strike. And then probably just meditate. I'm having a hard time targeting our main guy. There, okay, meditate. Tell me what you need. And we can taunt. Except I need to move closer in order to taunt. Okay, let's just taunt him. And then we can still hit him. Because why not? In fact, we can hit him with slinking assault. How about we do that? Sounds like a plan. This might be enough damage to kill him with the burning damage. Yeah, it will do, what, 12 damage? And he has 11 health, so this will kill him with the burning damage. 
He will get an action first, but he will die soon after. Or maybe not. Yeah, he will die. 12 damage. And we are done. Okay, then. So, anything exciting in here? Any useful loot? Metal scraps and gold? Okay. Anything we can actually pick up? A book? Speak to a scholar about that, alright. I knew this one last week, but he changes it all the time. An offering. Okay. Book in red? No. Not quite sure what we're supposed to place here. Some book from somewhere around here, no doubt. Yeah, I think that's going to be the one. I think so. Yep, that's the one. Alright then. It was worth coming back. We got some treasure. And we also got some hidden treasure. Oh yeah, right here. Nice one. A grappling hook. Yeah, that will come in handy. And what's the loot? 24 gold. Really? That's it? Just 24 gold for opening a secret door? Come on. Oh, look, there's another one. Alright then. Book in red. What did that do? No idea. It did something. I'm going to save. Oh, did this just open? Possibly. That's just a shortcut. I don't think that's what we did. We clearly did something. But I have no clue what. Nothing else in this room. Alright, I think it's time to move on. There's still this door. Here, we can open it. Uh, there's nothing in here. Literally. This is probably a shortcut. Yeah, this is just a shortcut to the previous area. Here. I saw this on the minimap earlier. So I think now we can take a ride down. There's nothing else I can pick up. Actually, yeah, there is something. Looks like we might be done for real right now. I'm not seeing anything else that would be relevant. Yep, I think we are actually done. So, let's move on. I'm looking forward to just leaving this place. I really am. Let's get the heck out. Now we can take a proper ride down. Do we have full health? Yes, we do. We also have some spared skill points. But I'm saving them for now. Alright, looks like a fairly standard group right there. Anything else we can do before we engage? Yeah, possibly. I hear some sounds in the background. Nothing here. Yeah, nothing here. Well, that was useless. Fine, let's charge them. Go. We are pretty close to a level up on the fighter. This should be enough for the level up. And I assume he will summon some goblin friends. Because that's usually what they do. Let's start doing some damage to him. Yeah, and slinking assault, that's too good to ignore. Then we can move back. Hide in shadows and razor's drop. That will do. Okay then. So now he will summon the goblins. That's pretty much what they always do. Okay then. Now we can just meditate. Might as well do that. And charge the bolt. And then kill a goblin. Let's do that then. That will kill one. And we might be able to kill the other. Let's see, we do have Razor's Drop active. 
This will actually be enough. Here, nice one. And that leaves us with one more point. What can we do? We can use it for meditate. We can also use slinking assault. Let's use slinking assault. 10 damage. And that's our turn. We can kill the one-eyed thing on the next turn. Or we can just ignore it and let it use hypnotic eye. While we move out of the way. Yeah, that's actually going to be better. So let's move out of the way. Then we can use slinking assault. And then arrow. Here, that will give us the opportunity point. And we can hit this guy with Arcane Barrage. To interrupt him. Nice one. And maybe taunt him afterwards. We got two points right now. How about the Dragon Bread? Yep, let's set him on fire. Like that. Okay, and then we can use Meditate. And Deflect. That will do. Just in case we'll need Deflect. Nice damage, bro. How's that working on for you? Greater Meditate? Oh no, you don't. Here, that does cost two points. Because I changed the weapon. But that's okay. He is going down. Lost arrow. We can kill him right now. With Sundering Smash. Actually, no, that will be six damage. We are literally one short. Well, no problem. He will die on the next turn. It's not like he's going anywhere. Interrupt that. And that's also a kill. You're dead. Done. And that will be a level up, I think. Yes. Nice one. Oh, we got some armor. That looks decent. Now, before I pick up the ability, I do have some new weapons. Mostly this one, an axe. A viscerating gash applies an additional stack of bleed. That's an axe ability. And this is our main weapon right now. Also an axe. Warpeak. Deal plus 40% damage with a lumbering strike. We could pick up lumbering strike. Right here. And maybe even replace bludgeon? We do have characters with mental damage, we don't really have to keep this. Now this is a channeled ability, but it does a lot of damage. So perhaps a good idea. As an alternative, we could pick up 100 weapons and then one of the follow-up abilities. Eviscerating Gash, Passing Slash or Fall Dropper. Deal 4 physical to first enemy in range and cause the target to bleed. Yeah, that's what the other weapon is about. That improves the bleed. Eviscerating Gash applies an additional stack of bleed. That could be good. That's exactly the same helmet that we're using right now. Okay. Who else has points? Oh yeah, our troll has one point. Not quite sure about him. I'm mostly waiting to find some better armor. I could pick up medium armor right now, but I have no chainmail armor. Which means it's pointless to spend our point on that right now. It will do nothing. Alright, let's move on, shall we? Can we actually leave this place? That would be great. A bind or consume? Okay. Is that an exit? There's some fight in here. I suppose we could consume this? Fine, consume. Hopefully we'll be able to save soon. Looks like we are getting out, finally. Master! No! Why continue to fight for these ungrateful fools? They would burn you as a sorcerer. Join us. And sooner join a pack of wolves. Kill this old fool. Then seek Siamar of Kol and bring me his head. My pleasure, Odonis. 
It seems you will not live long enough to burn at the stake, old man. Crux! Friends! Help me! I can end this if I can ready a final enchantment. Hold his attention, I beg you. Okay. Sounds exciting. Who come? Well, hello there. Oh, he will get the initiative. That's dirty. 200 health? That is quite a lot of health. And I just consumed that stone. So we better win this one. Could be fun. Probably a good moment to use some of the potions. Because we do have a few. And he's going to summon friends. Yeah. Okay, now he's using some ability. I can't quite interrupt that. Ready, I suppose. So I have no idea what he's actually doing. Well, I mean I can interrupt it with head knocker if I move left. And now that's not quite what I wanted to do. Okay, let's move left. And then we'll use head knocker. Because I have no idea what he's doing. I'd rather interrupt him. I'll feel safer that way. Five health. Our new friend has 38 health. Okay then. This is going to be nasty. Okay, six damage. 196 health. This will take a while. And he's summoning way more, whatever these things are. What does our friend have here? Channel, for six turns before dealing enormous damage. Yeah, I guess that's what we need to do. Should have used it on the first turn. Okay then. So... Let's heal ourselves up, shall we? Definitely. There, back to full. Now, what do we do? We need to kill his friends, most likely. Otherwise, this will end poorly. I can interrupt him again with Arcane Barrage. So let's do that. Like this. And then probably use Razor Strop. We can also scatter Caltrops. Let's do that, maybe. Here. Might not be super useful, but maybe it will be. Then Razor Strop. And we got one more point. Sundering Smash. He does have some armor, so I guess that's useful. Here, we will rend his armor. Okay, then. So, we need to survive six turns now. To use that special ability from our new friend. Oh, we got shuffled around. And he's summoning way more of these. Yeah, we need to start killing them. I also still have no idea what this ability is. I can keep interrupting it. So, I guess we should interrupt it. It's probably not good. <laughs> if I had to guess. Right. Now, let's get some kills, shall we? We can definitely do that. Like this. And swap places. That will give us the opportunity point. Then... I will be saving Arcane Barrage. Tell me what you need. What I need is kill this dude. Here. Okay, one more. We can scatter Caltrops again. You know what, let's do that. Here. That will kill one, because that works with Razor Strop. And then we can kill another. Here. That will do, that's basically our turn done. Alright then. Come on. What are you going to do? Yeah, mind job. We got 32 health. And he's using... Okay, forceful wave. Interesting. We might need to use more healing potions at some point, but not yet. Alright, I'm thinking scatter caltrops again. Yeah, sure, let's do that. 
That was almost a kill, but yeah. not quite. Sure. Well I then. Yes? How about... Yeah, charged bolt. That will kill the one in the front and do some damage to the one in the back. Then we can use the arrow. In fact, the arrow will do 12 damage easily. So, like this, that's 16 damage total. And we got two more points left. Yes, my child. We could taunt the boss. Ready. That could be completely useless though. Yeah. We can move left. And now we cannot move left. Okay. What? Well, we could queue up ward strike. That's certainly an option. Really? I can't release Dragon Breath from back here, I'm afraid. Yes. That seems a little bit useless. I... We don't have two points, so how about we taunt? And then we can use... Hey? Slinking Assault? Well, the thing is, if we swap places with someone, we might set that person on fire. Because that's the special ability of Crux. I think that's what his name was. Yep. Which means I would prefer to use something else. But Sundering Smash... Actually, it will be a kill. There. That will do. And let's just deflect. Okay, next we need, what, three more turns, I think? Six mental damage. Armor doesn't help with that. And we are bleeding now. Okay. More friends. Let's interrupt him again. Whatever he's doing. Yeah, I'm going to have to move. That will do. We still have Razor Shop active. Let's make use of it, shall we? We can swap places. Like this. And then we can use Lost Arrow still. Here. That will do. And we can hide in shadows. That will do. Are we done yet? We shall be done soon. We'll see how much damage that special ability will actually do because it doesn't say. It might not be an instant kill. He has 172 health. So, our turn. We need like one more turn or so. What should I do? Let's scatter some caltrops. Wasn't super useful, but whatever. Can't really use slinking assault anymore. And loose arrow will not kill anything. Let's just use razor drop. Interrupt this fella, if we can. Actually, I cannot. No, I can. Here, that will do. And let's just use Dragon Bread. It will be more useful if we move to the side. Yeah, it would be. Okay, let's use it anyway. And to smash him. Might be a good idea to use that healing potion soon. We got 9 health on our fighter. And I kind of need him. We need 2 more turns. Okay, that's a lot of orbs. Whatever these things are. Okay, let's use a healing potion. We should be able to do it. For you. That will help, plus 10. Still not enough to give him full health. Okay. So, Dragon Breath? Yeah, sure, we got the spell points. Might as well use it. They can be on fire, apparently. So, why not? He's not casting anything anymore. Deflect to get some armor. 
And then what? Slinking Assault. That will be a kill. And then we can kill another one with Lozaro. <laughs> Goodbye. And we still got one point. Ready, I suppose. Not quite enough for anything exciting. Not really enough for anything. We'll use Meditate. Not that he really needed it. So, one turn. Okay. We are taking some damage. This is a pretty long fight. Here, he's casting it. 500 damage. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage. I think they're dead. <laughs> they are quite dead indeed. Well then. That's quite a bit of experience. Crocs leveled up. Apprentice, is that...? No. No, the poor child is dead. You are... from the guild? I am indeed. Sadly, for all your help, Mangar is only banished. And that took all my power. To truly kill a wraith, it must be confronted with the reliquary where it keeps its bones. And Mangar must be killed. I felt in him the corrupt power of the charm which already destroyed the world once. Nor is he the worst danger. The being who ordered him, Yadis, its power is even greater. I fear it was he who brought Mangar back to life and who pulls his strings. Okay, whatever you say. Who is he exactly? I know not. But clearly a being of great power. Clearly. Greater ambition. For the sake of the world, that ambition must not be realized. I fear it would doom us all. Alright then. So, where can we find the reliquary? I wish I knew. But I do do you actually know something? Very, very anything? Good. Perhaps Rabbi might know. But you must not approach Mangar until you have it. You will not kill him without it. So, do you know anything useful? Like, at all? <sighs> A good child. Who saved me from myself when I was lost. I grieve that I could not return the favor. The Charn were the first men, powerful, evil magicians. Before the All War, they and their gods were the absolute rulers of this realm. They were finally defeated by the elves and dwarves, but it was a near thing, a very near thing indeed. Okay then, are you wounded? Do you need aid? I will recover, but my magic will not. I gave all my power to banish Mangar. All of it. Spells are beyond me now. It is almost a relief. Dear me, it is clear that I cannot stay here. Perhaps I will go to the guild and give what aid I can to Rabbi. Okay, so we'll see you at the uh, guild, I suppose. Master, now that you've lost your magic, perhaps it's time to release me from our bargain. I mean, if you won't be casting spells, you don't need a familiar. He has a point. Bargain? You promised to serve me until my death, imp. A pact sealed with blood. And I do not release you from it. Now you shall serve me by helping these adventurers against Mangar and Yadis. Fair enough. B but I won't be any help at all. You made me swear never to use magic. There's nothing I can... I release you from that vow. If these heroes want you, serve them as if they were me. If they do not, serve at the Adventurer's Guild. But I have a world to conquer! Couldn't this wait? Obey me, demon! Offer them your service! Ah, if I must... He doesn't sound very happy about it. If you find yourself in need of arcane knowledge, ask me. I still have my books. Okay. I think I had enough books for now. I'll be honest. Apprentice gloves. That sounds useful. Okay, is there anything else in this room? And more importantly, can we save? 
because I would like to save, you know. I'm just saying. And where are we going exactly? This way, I guess? Yeah, this way. Uh, no. Wait, what the heck? That's the end of the map. So where do we go? I need some kind of save stone. Right about now. How do we get out of here? We need to go back, outside. Yeah, ask Krabby. Isn't there some kind of shortcut? Like, seriously? Are you trying to tell me there's no shortcut whatsoever? To get out of here, we need to go back all the way through the tower? I would expect some kind of shortcut. But apparently not. Well then... Oh, what's that supposed to be? Some kind of portal. Yeah, I don't think there's a shortcut of any kind in here, which is disappointing to say the least. And there isn't even a save stone, so I can't even save after that fight. Okay, well, I suppose I'll be going back up. Which means that's also the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.